welcome. Thank you, John. Now to tonight's other top story. Democratic presidential candidate Barack Obama courting the Carolinas. He was greeted by a large, enthusiastic crowd from inside the Grady Cole Center and outside on the streets where people gathered early. We have live team coverage coming up. But first, the message Obama brought to Charlotte. He hit hard on the war in Iraq and the economy, saying it's in shambles. Obama said we need to fix our schools and health care system and reiterated the theme of his campaign, change. I am here to tell you that my faith has been vindicated, my bet has paid off, because the American people are standing up everywhere we go, right here in North Carolina, and saying we want something new, we want something different. We have to turn the page and write a new chapter in American history. During Obama's first stop in Fayetteville this morning, his focus was on the Iraq War. He told military families the war has left the United States less safe, and the decision to go to war was made for the wrong reasons. In 2002, when the fateful decision about Iraq were made, there was a president for whom ideology overrode pragmatism. And there were too many politicians in Washington who spent too little time reading the intelligence reports and too much time reading public opinion. The excited Obama supporters packed the Grady Cole Center, anxious to see their candidate, and that's where we continue our coverage and find WCN's reporter Melissa Mark live down Hi there, Chris. Well, you can see behind me the crowd is now clear, but Senator Barack Obama spoke before crowds about 1,700 people for about an hour, and we noticed it was a very diverse group. A lot of parents who brought their kids, and this crowd was fired up. <laughs> Senator Barack Obama walked into a chanting audience with cameras in their hands. This kind of a rowdy crowd, I gotta say. Who gave several standing ovations as Obama called for more affordable health care, college tuitions, lower gas prices, and times with a sense of humor. Well, part of it is because of uh, my cousin, Dick Cheney. Uh, and to end the war in Iraq and take care of our military. Military families are bearing too great of a burden right now. The young here today also had big concerns. About what's going to happen in Darfur. A town hall meeting that for many people reinforced their vote in Obama. I think it's an honest thing. It doesn't pander to the crowd. But he's one that his integrity alone will stand for all the people of America. And the audience's questions really ran the gamut from foreign policy to race-related crime to unplanned pregnancies. There were also a lot of local Democrats in the audience, including Mecklenburg County Commissioner Jennifer Roberts, as well as Harry Jones, the county manager. In Charlotte, Melissa Mark, Carolina's News Connection. All right, Melissa, thank you. That line to get in started forming early for one woman five and a half hours early, to be exact. WCNC reporter Mark Boone is live now with that story. Mark? Yes, yeah, Sonia, that woman had tickets to the event. About 300 others who showed up here did not. Yet, there were a few problems. In fact, the only guy led away in handcuffs about the man you're about to see right there. The police tell me he was refused to back away from the crowd when he was selling T-shirts and was asked to leave. That line wrapping halfway around Memorial Stadium this afternoon, we actually heard a few folks trying to bargain or beg their way inside. But the first lady in line, standing there uh, in front of the Grady Cole Center there, she wasn't about to give up her ticket. She showed up five and a half hours before the doors even opened with her 13-year-old daughter in tow. I didn't want to miss a chance of hearing him speak. I wanted to be as close to him as I could, maybe get a chance to shake his hand. And uh, I just didn't want to be on the edge. I wanted to be right up front where all the action is. And it turns out even some of the last people to show up, those 300 folks who didn't have tickets, almost every single one of them got inside. A handful of folks stood out in the rain and listened to the speech on loudspeakers set up outside. Reporting live outside the Grady Cole Center, Mark Boone, Carolina's News Connection.